The following podcast contains adult language, profound stupidity, hardcore nudity, and drug references. Children should not listen to it. Everyone else but fucking Olive. Nailed it. Hey everyone and welcome to Plotty Time, the podcast where we three gamers discuss video game stories in detail with all the necessary and appropriate backlash. My name is Papa Scotch and with me always is Chump Slap. I'm not going to stop having sex in the parking lot behind the supermarket just because you said I could do it in my own bed. <laughs> and then on the other side is a doctor scientist. What? This isn't shop class? <laughs> <laughs> Short, effective... You guys are you're oh, you're you're doing better every week, and I don't know I don't I don't know how you even find the the time to achieve such greatness. But uh, <laughs> speaking of achieving greatness, what did you do with your week, there, Doctor Scientist? What have you been playing, watching? What are you up to? Well, I watched. I caught up on a. Uh, it's always sunny. Eh, oh, nice. This season, eh, it's not impressing me too much. I did love the texting episode. But. Oh yeah, we're somehow Charlie. Knows everything about texting, which makes sense because he can't write. So he would <laughs> talk in emojis, right? Yeah, and he got everything they were trying to say. Yep, yep. Uh, and then I watched a lot of Questing for Glory 3, an RPG speedrun marathon. Oh, uh, that was a movie. No, no. It was on all week. It's just they speedrun RPGs. I was going to say, was that the one with Tom Hanks and <laughs> there's Wizards involved? He did play Grandia 2. <laughs> Tom Hanks played Grandia 2? Yeah. He's amazing at it. <laughs> really? Just, okay. Yeah, he's just off world record. <laughs> Man, what can't he do? You know? Seriously. <laughs> Man's a legend. And uh, I beat Darksiders 3. Oh, nice. Like platinum or just beat the game? Just beat it. I thought about going for the numb, and uh, I tried it on the hardest difficulty. You and say going for the up. numb. Yep. <laughs> the, way the, the way the kids say it. Hashtag going for the numb. <laughs> but, uh. I don't want to sit there and dodge everything and then attack and then dodge and counterattack. So I just stopped playing it. And, gotcha. then, and then I started a, an indie game called Moonlighter where uh, you run an item shop in a fantasy town. Mm-hmm. And at night you have to go into the dungeons and get items to sell to the townsfolk during the day. And you try and awesome. build up your item shop and stuff. And How else are you supposed to get inventory? Yeah, exactly. That's, I hear you. And then I played a little bit of Borderlands, but the ghosts are really pissing me off, so I'm done with that for now, a while now. When does that DLC come out? Next the, week, but I think I'm going to... The ghost lasts until like December 5th or something, so I might just wait until that's done. To, oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, right. I've already had w- way enough of the ghosts. Like, yeah. why? I don't know why there's absolutely no way to turn them off. Yeah, once you beat the game, they're there. Yeah, especially after you beat Haunt 25 I know. times. It should just go away. Papa Scotch and myself were playing the Circles of Slaughter, and ghosts make those almost unbearable. Yeah, because you were telling me you did it by yourself, and I'm like, I don't see how. <laughs> like, we died how many times? Yeah. No, probably like, I don't know, between five and ten, I'd say. We had to restart that one wave a couple times. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Was that your stomach? <laughs> yeah, it's doing it again. <laughs> And how many times did we die? And then as soon as we respawn, we instantly get hit by ghosts coming through the walls. Oh, it was so Yeah, annoying. you go into last stand and then you get hit immediately and then go into last stand again. <laughs> oh, I love that. And then you go back to the safe area and you can't get back in the room and then a ghost hits you like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> and how many times did we watch each other get chased by ghosts? <laughs> oh, a bunch. And I don't know about you, but I've shot so many ghosts chasing you. So have I. I've, I've yeah, seen as so we're many playing. Times. So many times. <laughs> yeah, but I'm done with them. Anyway, what about Chump Slap? What did he watch this week? What Wait a minute. That? Hold on. Did you get Death Stranding and play it? I thought you were going to hate play it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, we I knew you would have wouldn't. that on the record. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. There's always next week. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but me, me, I... Watched a whole lot of movies. Watched a bunch of Samuel. It's classic 187. <laughs> Pulp Fiction, obviously. Hard Eight. You ever see that one? Sounds like I haven't even heard of that no. one. 
It's eh. <laughs> uh, glass. Terrible. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why. Was it that bad? I really wanted it to be good. You never saw it? No, I, I saw uh, Unbreakable and I loved it. Split was okay, but was Glass bad? I wanted Glass to be good. Don't don't tell me it's bad. I didn't like it at all. Mm. It was just... It's stupid. It was just stupid. It was a Shyamalan movie. It was bad, too. It didn't even have a twist, really. Well, kind of, I guess. But it was a shitty twist. And at the end, you find the ghost was... <laughs> <laughs> Samuel Jackson was dead the whole time. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. That movie. <laughs> Uh, but I did watch The Day Shall Come. You guys see this one? Is that with Samuel L.? No, Samuel Jackson's not in this one. <laughs> Damn it. But <laughs> then it, I haven't seen it. No. It's from the guy who did Four Lions. Oh, yeah? Oh, I've heard about this. Yeah. It's it's pretty good. What's it about? It's about a guy who's starting like... He's trying to start like a commune. And... He's crazy. Is it like a cult commune type thing? Kind of, but not really. I mean, he's trying to do good, but the FBI is trying to get him arrested like he's a terrorist. It doesn't sound as funny as Four Lions. Well, Four Lions, well, Four Lions on paper doesn't sound <laughs> funny either. Exactly. But they're trying to like get him, set him up so he can be arrested for terrorism and shit. And uh, Anna Kendrick's in it. Oh, Anna Kendrick. I'd watch that. Yeah, it's really good. I'd definitely suggest that. Uh, video game-wise, I've just been running haunt kills. Just uh, Stick a ghost yet? Yeah, I, I just finished <laughs> killing him 25 times to get a fucking weapon skin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> nice. It's sweet. That I'll never use. So good. But that's it. That's all I've been doing. Well, what is this I heard about you getting a little loose around a photo booth at a wedding? I heard all (laughs) kinds of stuff about this. (laughs) You want to elaborate? He likes photo booths. I could talk a little bit about it. (laughs) Scientist was ready to go. (laughs) He was my (laughs) ride home, and they called last call for the photo booth, so... (laughs) So he went like six times. Yeah, I went in by myself trying to grab as many people as I could. And I was like, let's go, everybody, into the photo booth. I don't know. I thought the one where I didn't move was pretty good because that that is. I got it on my refrigerator. (laughs) I mean, if we could always put them on the Instagram, too. Let's not forget about this. Yeah, I I might. I just might. But, yeah, it was just drunk fun at a wedding. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Nice. You know how it is. Word, yeah. Absolutely. But uh, what would you do this week? You see anything cool? Play anything good? Uh, not really. No Played one Borderlands. knows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Borderlands 3 got to level 50 finally. It's about fucking time. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, and then now I had to create another character and put like four hours into that character just so they could get to Sanctuary, just so I could stash shit with them. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> oh, I love how you have to watch all the movies again. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's fucking That's great. Stuff. So I uh, did that, played a little bit of chill, but not much. I uh, haven't really touched Call of Duty. I did watch the Netflix uh, Living With Yourself, the one with uh, Paul Rudd where he has a clone. Was that any good? Was it like a uh, multiplicity? Kind of. It was weird. It was very weird, and it was pretty funny, but it wasn't great. But, I mean, if you're looking for something to watch and you like Paul Rudd, then it'll definitely do you. Eh. I don't know what to think about Paul Rudd, really. Indifferent. He's some good, some bad. I think he's great part of an ensemble. And he's and he's really great at Ant-Man. Yeah. But I don't know if I like him starring and stuff, and especially when there's two of them starring and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a little much for me. They should have had Bobcat Goldthwait do it. <laughs> you is that part of? Are you like? Do you have a fucking bet going? You always bring up Bobcat Goldthwait every single episode. <laughs> His favorite actor. <laughs> He's got a tattoo of him. It's my favorite director. He's great. <laughs> he is pretty good. Uh, that's pretty much all I did. Aren't you on vacation this week? I was. I, I caught up with, uh, 
I'm trying to catch up with season three of Jessica Jones because I'm way behind on that. And I, I started watching it previously, like when it came out. And I watched the first two episodes and I was like, I have no fuck. I don't remember anything about season two <laughs> at all. Like all these characters, it's like a progression and it takes place like almost right afterwards and everyone's like mad at each other. And I'm like, I don't remember why at all. Didn't it do like a previously on? I guess I missed it. I don't know what <laughs> I don't, happened. I don't think so. But then I watched the whole second season again. <laughs> Just to prepare for the I'm third like season. I'm like halfway through the third. All right. But uh, it's the last Defenders series. I've watched all the other ones, and this is the last one to finish. Then it's going to be over. It's a damn shame. Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do? I just give more money to Disney to make more. I don't know. They need it. Yeah, they do. Struggling yeah, mom and struggling. pop operations like that. Yep. Feed the mouse. Mickey. Other than that, uh wasn't much going on, but I do have an idea for a future segment. Oh. Or I guess current segment. Oh. Um Go ahead, shoot. We we <laughs> will often uh say, I'm gonna look that up. Or wait, what was this? And then we also oh we often get our facts wrong. So maybe no, everyone you get your facts wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's easy to blame others. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the segment I have, it's called Shit We Didn't Follow Up With. Oh, we need a... That sounds like a lot of work. Uh, we well, music. I mean, I'm already editing it, so I just like, wait. We oh, go as back long as I it. don't have to do anything. No, 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 no. Uh, I was just going to give you an update that uh, July 24th, 2001 was when Max Payne came out. We had said it was an early PS2 game, but in fact, there were plenty of games because the PS2 released on March 4th, 2000. So it was a year later. It's still an early PS4 game, PS2 game. It was also the first game that used... It wasn't the first game that slowed down time so you could do stuff, but it was the first game with bullet time where you could actually dodge bullets. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's the only update that we didn't follow up on. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you for the theme music. Love it. <laughs> uh, but with that, let's go ahead and roll into uh, news and stuff to discuss. Let's pile it on, newsboy. Let's start with the most ridiculous story of this week. Impeachment hearings? <laughs> um, were either of you guys aware of the fact that they released a Call of Duty mobile? What? Like, yeah, I wasn't aware of this either. Like you could play Call of Duty on your phone? Yes. Like Fortnite? Exactly. And uh, in its first month, it sold $53 million worth of revenue. Yeah, yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah, what do you have to buy loot boxes? It's probably like six guys who just bought a bunch of loot boxes. <laughs> Possibly. But uh, it was the second most successful launch behind only Pokemon Go for mobile. Get the fuck out of here. It's already got 100 million downloads. Huh. Yeah, I, that's, I thought that was interesting, too. Never would have plays guessed. Call of Duty at home, and then is like, I really need to play this on the go? <laughs> yeah, I'm on the train. I got like a 20-minute commute. Let's go kill some fools at 9 a.m. Uh, what do I know? Yeah. Uh, n- moving on, uh, we got some more news about our favorite thing ever, which is releasing this week. Stadia. Google Stadia. Yeah. Isn't that over yet? <laughs> no, well, if you hear this news, it may be. So, Sweet. A uh, bunch of the features and stuff they promise will not be available at launch. Whoa. Including, I know, right? It's almost as if they rushed it, right? <laughs> and it's a late launch, right? Yeah, and this is... Okay. So <laughs> Glad I didn't pre-order it. The, well, fuck you. There won't be an, an achievement system will not be in place. Why even play? <laughs> I it's I might I know. Well, that's not even the worst part. Um you can't yet use older Chrome Chrome ooh, Chromecasts to stream games. You need to use the Ultra, the brand new one. Wow, it's like they made it to sell you stuff. So, I know. But right. that's that's supposedly a they'll be available in the future. They're just not right now. Um the Buddy Pass, which was part of the Founders Kit, which is basically you could gift like a free month or three months, I forget what it is, to someone else. Uh, that's not available yet. <laughs> the, and what a pointless the thing. controllers may not even be out 
for launch. Wow. You can play games <laughs> yeah. without those. Yeah, you can play without a controller. <laughs> Some people are supposed to get them, but they they said the controllers are going to start shipping on the 19th. <laughs> wow, this is fun. Well, it gets worse because they released the games that will be available on launch day. Just Fallout 76. <laughs> Jurassic <It's>, The Hunted. <laughs> No, there's uh there's some good games. Uh uh there will be releasing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Destiny 2, Just Dance 2020, Red Dead Redemption 2, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Thumper, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, and something called Guilt, G Y L T, and G Y L T is an indie which is the only exclusive that will be relaunched launching on release day. Never heard of it. No. Well, it's an well, it's exclusive. It's an exclusive to the stadium. So it makes you sense hear? you didn't. <laughs> Well, as the indie expert of the podcast, I thought. <laughs> and then end of the year, Borderlands 3 and Farming Simulator 19. Thank God. Isn't Borderlands 3 the Farming Simulator 2019? Oh, oh, oh. nice. <laughs> Burn. You got him. Good scientist. Great job, buddy. <laughs> All right, time for me to go home. But uh, that Stadia comes out in a few days. Actually, if you're listening to this, it came out two days ago, and I'm sure we already all love it. Yeah, it's fucking balling. <laughs> awesome. I still haven't got my controller. Uh, then the rest of the stuff, that's it. Uh, that's all I have for video game news, but I got some movie tidbits to talk about. Uh, the first being that a shitload of Marvel movies weren't necessarily released, but dates for future movies have come out. Uh, the, the projects that are coming out are still unannounced, but this will mean that Marvel will be definitely releasing three titles in 2020 and four in 2023. 2023? Yeah. What about 2021 or 2022? Jesus Christ. 2022 <laughs> has... Th these are just the unannounced titles. So that's seven unannounced films in two years. Oh. So three of them next year? Unannounced? Yeah. Three of them in 2022. Next year would that's be 2020. No. Uh, uh, but all right. that's why I was confused. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Me too. Jesus, three unannounced <laughs> in 2022 All and right. four unannounced in 2023. You, you left out the last the two the first time you said it. I can't help it if you guys don't hear good. <laughs> All right. Wait till, he, wait till he edits it again and says, oh, yeah, I didn't say it. <laughs> That's true. It'll be I will new. go back to the tape. Uh, the other news, Netflix has reviewed or renewed the Witcher TV series for a second season. There was a first. Which was pretty interesting because the first doesn't premiere till December twentieth. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So how? Okay. They're already like, we want in. They're like, dude, this is so good. I'm still waiting for the new Castlevanias. They did two seasons. I know. There should be more. <laughs> yeah, we'll tell. I'll I'll tell my guy at Netflix to make sure they <laughs> it's make about more. Fucking time. It's but, a Witcher uh, Castlevania crossover. The last piece of movie news I have is. Some casting in the Uncharted movie. Uh, if you remember, Tom Holland was hired to play Drake. That's what you said. Yep. And now Mark Wahlberg is being cast as Sully. That's stupid. Yep. Uh, th the funny thing about this is that when this movie was coming about in 2010, Mark Wahlberg was originally cast as Drake with De Niro playing Sully. That's better, but still bad. And Dave, this was back when David O. Russell was attached to direct. Now this movie will be helmed by a guy by the name of Travis Knight who did Bumblebee and <laughs> is going to be doing the uh, $6 billion man release that's coming out. Well, I know I'm not going to see the new Uncharted yeah, movie then. I don't know about that. When you said Bumblebee, I was thinking the B movie. I thought it was about tuna. <laughs> <laughs> what? You hear Bumblebee and your first thing is tuna? Yeah. Bumblebee tuna. Yum, yum, bumblebee, bumblebee, tuna. You know, you know. Is that a real song? Yeah. Did you, are you fucking with me right <laughs> now? <laughs> I think it's Skank and Pickle, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, those words mean something to me, I guess. <laughs> like, oh, I thought you used to like ska. Yeah, what's wrong with Skank and Pickle? <laughs> they do a great cover of The Freshman. I can't say I've heard much Skank and Pickle in my time. <laughs> Get out more. Yeah, man. really. <laughs> yeah. Get it's out more my fault. 90s. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, you should have listened to more music in high school. <laughs> I don't think that would be possible. <laughs> That's all we did. That's all we had was free time. Remember those days? I miss it. Yeah. Good stuff. Now we have jobs. It's bullshit, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Depressing. Good stuff. Any hoodles. So how about we get to the uh, the game here? How does that sound? Uh, Lay it on us. Yeah, I guess. All right. If <laughs> We're not bothering you, Chump Slap, are we? <laughs> no, I'm just sorry I picked it. Okay. Uh, this game, uh, the doing this week, is the horror... Question mark. <laughs> classic Nazi zombie shooter, Blood Rain. It was released October 15th, 2002 for GameCube, PS2, and Xbox, developed by Terminal Reality and published by Majesco Entertainment. It's a third-person shooter written by Peter Besson and Joe Wampole? Wampole. (laughs) Wampole. Wampley. Wampley. It could be it could be any of those W A M P O L E. Glad we wasted time on that. It's probably none of those. <laughs> yeah. Joey Wams. <laughs> yeah, Joey Wham. Oh, now I know who you're talking oh, about. Oh, that guy, yeah. Yeah, of course. So uh Chump Slap, you picked this and you made us watch this. How about you give us a little bit of a rundown on where we're at before the story starts? Okay. Well the game opens nineteen thirty three. And there's some like a couple running down the street and the the woman trips guy picks her up and then he gets taken into a dark alley and decapitated and his head just rolls out and then you're like (laughs) oh i wasn't like that i was and then you see the woman gets looks up and she looks like a vampire or something zombie vampire zombie vampire and then Blood Rain, the protagonist, comes out and cuts her head off while there's two. And cloaked. (laughs) There's two people on a rooftop just watching her. Like, yeah, we should get her for our group. She looks good. And then they're like, no, she's half vampire and we kill vampires. But eventually they take her. So she's basically Blade, like a half vampire who kills other vampires. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Can we stop right now and talk about remembering when gaming was all about boob jiggle? (laughs) Dude, I have that highlighted and underlined to mention. I'm glad you brought it up. It's just, oh, it's. Let's talk about it. (laughs) so, So much time and effort. Went into making the boobs jiggle. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Is the only but the rest moved. of the body doesn't move. Nope, no, not at all. It's so weird. It it's unsettling. A little bit. Yeah, I didn't like it at all. It <laughs> kind of scared me, especially. <laughs> and it should. <laughs> Do vampire boobs jiggle differently than human boobs? Yeah. T- sure. I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No, I don't think okay. so, because we see human it. boobs jiggle, too. Yeah, they jiggle exactly the same physics way. Yeah, it's all about the physics in this game, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously. But anyway, you're Blood Rain, half vampire. You're in this some type of clan that you don't know much about at this point. The Brimstone Society. Yes. And Act 1, we start playing. You're on a swamp boat, cruising through Louisiana. Doing a mission for the Brimstone Society. Yep. With your your lady bro slash mentor, Mince, I believe her name is. Yep. Right? Mince. Yeah. Mince. And why is Mince just standing on the, the boat? Like you're sitting on there riding the boat, she's standing straight up. And this is like the two person dinghy, like rowboat. No, it wasn't a rowboat. I thought it was that a fan boat. Yeah, so did I. An airboat? Yeah. Fan, fan boat. boat. Yeah. That they drive around Maybe. Louisiana. Bayou. <laughs> it's definitely a body oh, boat. But uh, I did see that uh, it takes place in a fictional town called Morton, Louisiana, which I guess is just Swamp, Louisiana. You can tell by the accents on the swamp people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. And by that, I mean the human NPCs. Yes. Because holy shit. Yeah, it, it was a bit, a little bit uh, racist. Racist, kinda. I guess. Yeah. I guess not really. It's not. Uh, I don't know. But this town... Has 30 foot walls around it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, old school Louisiana towns, you know? Yeah. 
It totally makes sense. Well, you were sent there because there's an infection affecting the people, and you're supposed to hunt down the source of the infection. Yes. They were just like, they turn out to be some type of infecting spiders that mutate people. That's a I, good example. They just refer to it as the biomass. Yes, and you're supposed to find these biomasses and destroy them before they mutate the entire town, which is pretty much almost already dead. Yeah. Yeah, there's like three survivors. And they all, yeah. they're all afraid of what's behind the wall in the, the dark non-science times of 1933. Right. Yeah, they're afraid of going behind the wall, but aren't there, isn't the wall keeping in the biomass and the mutating spiders? I think they're getting out. They're coming from the other side of the wall? Yeah. Oh. I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of it was kind of confusing. No, there's going to be a lot of that going around this game. Uh the question I have for you guys is have, well, have any, has anybody played this game? No. No. No, me neither. Uh it appeared in the cutscene movie I watched that in order to heal, you would just jump on a person and bite them and suck their blood out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looked like. So, I just think that Blood Rain was very quick to uh Immediately jump on and suck the blood out of these mutant people. Yeah, yeah, she was. That just seems like like a bad idea, especially because you're going there to fight something that's infected. Yeah, and you're gonna suck the blood and just hope not to get infected yourself. I guess. Right. Yeah. Well, she is half vampire, so she's half immortal. Is that what? No, I think she's full. I don't know, man. (laughs) But I I don't know what the the lore of. Yeah, water hurts her, though. A little. Not as much as a normal vampire. And she can be out during the day, I assume. Which is a pretty good deal. I don't know. Was she ever out? Was she ever out during the day? Blade was. <laughs> this isn't Blade. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> You're just naming facts you knew from Blade, right? <laughs> yeah. Blade's boobs didn't jiggle. No, they were hard as a rock. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> That's how I like my men. <laughs> hard oh boy but anyway you go around this little fucking nothing of a town and randomly just rescue people and kill yeah nests rescue a bunch of people insects. try to kill these biomasses that are spawning mutant spiders send everyone back to the grave diggers house <laughs> was that your bayou accent i don't know what that was <laughs> <laughs> though these accents were a bit rough it's horrible. Yeah, and one of them tells you about a German dude mixing with the voodoo lady. Yeah, she says voodoo lady, right? Yeah. All right, because I had that written down. I thought that was weird. She gave her a name, too, but I didn't feel like rewinding the video and catching it. <laughs> Maressa was her name. Oh, okay. oh, shit. And Kazi is the one who told you about him. I had that written right. down. But, uh, yeah, the, everyone plays a ridiculous Louisiana stereotype. Yeah. And uh, it's... I mean, I'm kind of offended for them. <laughs> All they needed, like, the last thing they needed was a couple drunks walking down Bourbon Street, and they would have just <laughs> hit all the Louisiana stereotypes, but I digress. So, where do we go from here? Don't we go to the church, and or the mausoleum? Which one is it? Uh, the mausoleum, after you send everybody back to it, and you kill all the biomasses, you go back to meet up with Mints again. And be like, all right, I did my job. Let's get the fuck out of here. And all of a sudden, spiders attack and eat mints. Like, fully just swallow her whole. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah. And eat all the towns. Yeah, that was great. That was was my favorite part is when they're like, you got to go back there. It's safe. And then the next time you go back, they're all getting (laughs) destroyed, like murdered very violently. It's great. Yeah, she just sends you back. She's like, yeah, just go over to the mausoleum. It's safe. Oh, yeah, yeah but what about the whole trek there? And what about the fact that I lived the whole time here safe? <laughs> I, uh, and there's ridiculously underground areas in this bayou. Yeah, that aren't flooded or nothing? Yeah, it's weird. In a swamp? Whatever. Maybe it's oh, come on now. I don't know. Whatever you see, it's magic. Yeah, and you have to run on the top of fucking power, power lines. lines. Yeah. And it sounds like you're running on... Like metal, like <laughs> hard metal ground. It was weird. I didn't like that at all. It was just bad choices. Yeah, the, you have to take a boat and 
You come across some voodoo ritual where they say they release the mother of the other world, underworld. Yeah, this part looked like a fucking drunk. Like it looked like there would have been just beer cans laying around and some yeah. burning candles. And it's like, oh, this says to awaken the lord of the underworld. This is what you do. And then you end up fighting the the queen spider, whatever. The biomass. Yes, the queen biomass. All hail, queen spider. (laughs) I, for one, (laughs) I can't remember the exact line. Uh, I, for one, welcome our new ant overlords. (laughs) Yeah, that's it. (laughs) Yeah, so you destroy the spider like nothing. Yeah, the fights seemed pretty annoying in this watching the video. Yeah, it seemed like you just hit rage and then you could kill him easily. Bullet time. It looked a lot like... uh... Or uh, it looked as if it played exactly like Tomb Raider. Except it looked a lot better. Yeah, it did look a lot better. Uh, but you had like the dual wield guns. And why did the possessed biomass human beings have guns shooting at you? I thought, yeah, I wanted to know that too. Were they just like normal? Normies? They, they were like, their face was all muted and mutated and gross. But other than that, they just fired weapons at you. Yeah, so they had the capacity to pull a trigger no to shoot you but not yeah. each other yeah i don't know man uh, well, we're digging too deep man <laughs> so you end up killing the queen yep easily and then you're like yep, what, yep. what the fuck is this what's this little shiny thing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this part's ridiculous and then you just rip out it's one of its ribs <laughs> i guess it's what it is i thought it looked like a rib yeah bone. i don't know and then you're looking at it, and it's like, uh, uh, and then you just stab yourself with it. <laughs> and then some Nazi shows up and pulls it out and leaves. Yeah, he's like, I'll be taking this. <laughs> it, in a typical Nazi voice. <laughs> hey, see what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, this was the 30s, so I that's imagine true. that's how everyone <laughs> talked. They all wore their zoot suits and <laughs> flappers. Nazi armbands on their zoot suits, yeah. Yeah, so so this act <laughs> Prohibition. ends with him ripping it out of you and then walking away as you pass out, I guess. And leaving you for dead. Yeah. Apparently, but not thinking enough to kill you. Yeah. So are we then led to believe that the biomass has been eradicated in Louisiana? Yeah. Yeah, I assume so. Oh, yeah. And when the Nazi takes the rib from you, he grows really long fingers for some reason? Yeah, and just rips it out. What was that about? I don't know. All right. Boob jiggle. <laughs> well, you got boob jiggle. I got long fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Old boob jingle long fingers. That's my new that's my new alias I'm gonna use. BJLF. <laughs> For life. But uh then we get whisked away to magical Argentina? The Phoenix Motel. Yes. Not there yet. Oh, sorry. Five I jumped the gun. I was so excited to talk about this game. Sorry. <laughs> 1938. <laughs> <laughs> and then do you get a phone call? or Yeah. Saying that the Nazis are in Argentina looking for a relic and you got to go kill everybody. Yeah, it's this new Nazi club, see? <laughs> <laughs> the GGGs. <laughs> yeah. What were they? What is G? I don't remember. I didn't write down what it was. It was like for. the anti ghost yeah. gang or something like that. Led by Jurgen Wolf. Uh, it was very interesting because the anti ghost group, the GGG, the GGG is all actually German and I'm not even going to try to pronounce what that means. The Ghost of Geist group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some, that's exactly what it was. You nailed it. <laughs> but uh, that never existed. That was made up for the game. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's more to this. Don't just give yeah. me shit immediately. Nazis, I was going somewhere. They were made up for the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. It's your revisionist <laughs> history. <laughs> but uh, they did mention the Thule Society, which actually was a real thing. Yeah. It was a German occultish group funded in Munich right after World War I, named after a mythical northern country and Greek legend. Uh, the society is notably chiefly is notable chiefly as the organization that sponsored the DAP, the German Workers Party, which was later reorganized by Adolf Hitler. Yeah, and that's why they're in Argentina looking for a relic to help Hitler out, rate, rise to yeah. power or something. Because this is before World War One. Yes. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. <laughs> you go to Argentina, I get a relic. You know, but Blood Rain's mission is to go there and. 
kill all the Nazis that are in the GGG and get the relic so yes. that Nazis make sure don't they it. don't get the relic and kill them all. Yeah, the the first it's in a three act structure. They kept hammering that point home in Wikipedia as if anyone cared. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's told in a three act play, I guess, and Argentina. The first one was Louisiana, but it's it felt like Louisiana was very straightforward. You just go one place, one place to another. And now in Argentina, the new goal is to murder a whole bunch of people and stop the biomass. And get the relic that's yeah. from Atlantis. <laughs> yeah. Whew. That can't be right. Is that what it said? Yeah. The yeah. relic from Atlantis? Oh, okay. Oh, we'll get to that. It's like the next line here. Yeah, that's what I have next. That's why I cut to it. Yeah. Well, you go to like a weird military facility in that Argent- they have built there. Yeah, in Argentina. Did the Nazis build it? I assume it was. They call it a mine, so I assume it was some kind of thing they just repurposed, maybe. Oh, just built around it. Yeah. Who knows? Because it's a submarine pen where subs go. You know, you're familiar with submarines. I don't need to go over it. Yes. But it's that, and it's also a huge underground cave and doctor medical facility. Don't forget the mine. Yeah, there's definitely a... And the mine, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, dude, should we go to four or five different locations? What are we going to do in the story? Nah, it's the same place. Nah, it's all just one big place. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and don't forget, you need to get batteries for elevators because none of them are yeah. working. <laughs> Look, it's the same place. Stop giving me bullshit and get back to working on the boob jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> boob don't jiggle worry murder. About That's the what story. this game's all about. Yeah, story doesn't matter. Your job is boob jiggle. Get back to the boob jiggle department. Oh, you nailed it, guys. <laughs> I don't pay you to write a story. I pay you to make boobs jiggle. <laughs> Get in there. But yeah, it's some huge science lab with zombies running around of some sort. Yeah, and you're just killing all these higher up Nazis. I did like how when you killed like bosses, it cut them off of the list. I mean, yeah. As unexciting as the boss fights yeah. looked like. Like it told you where they were or nothing. It was just like, oh, you have to kill yeah. 12 fucking people and that's it. And they're dressed in red robes unlike the other ones. <laughs> Yeah, but when you see the priest and he's telling you about how Atlantis was full of Aryans and it was the purest place. Yeah. Oh, boy. With the Belier, the devil, who was ripped apart in thousands of pieces and his body parts yeah. scattered everywhere. It's kind of like uh, Vigo the Carpathian. Yeah. He was shot, stabbed, <laughs> drawn and quartered. I, I need to memorize that. Poisoned. Just bring it out of parties. Right before his head died. Poisoned. I forgot about poisoned. Yeah, but disemboweled, <laughs> drawn and thrown off a cliff. I think is in there. Yeah, There's a lot of things. I'll re- I'll memorize it for next week. But all right, I memorize. I mean, no one will ever know, and I'll just read it off piece of paper. Yeah, sounds good. I'm gonna call you out on it, just like I'm gonna do Death Stranding again. <laughs> Wait, okay, you still see. <laughs> oh, but just a fun fact: if we ever decided to actually do Death Stranding, the fastest cutscene movie I saw on the internet so far was 11 and a half hours. Sounds about right. So... You guys won't only pick one that's longer than two. Hey, I ain't stopping you. Well, you just won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> do some of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> you watch the first half, Papa Scotch will do the second half. There you go, and we'll just fast forward through the parts that look stupid. <laughs> Sounds good. Anyway, the, they show this like also Nazi mistress with... Uh, the butcheress. Yeah, face mask and concentration camp style killing people, pushing them into big... Yeah. And then you see, I guess the demonites show up around somewhere. And there's these little snake-like things with heads that go down your throat and... I don't know. Yeah, they were like skulls with the spine still attached. Yeah. Yeah, well, they force their way down your throat and they force their spines onto your spine to take over your nervous system and then your head explodes off your body and their head pops up yeah the butcheress describes this process yeah, it was... and apparently they came across these while they were looking for the skull of Blyer. so was this part before or after the priest that was hiding in a box with a minigun after after yeah that was okay. the priest who tells you about how Atlantis was the Aryan paradise 
Gotcha. I just didn't want to skip over that part because I was wondering where the hell that was at church when we went. <laughs> that was so good, especially when you try to go behind him and yeah. he just, he his pulpit around. would just turn around and shoot at you yep. and it would fly across the room. It was one of the worst boss battles I've ever seen. <laughs> it was so <laughs> good. Hilarious. <laughs> Highlight of the game, I think. I thought so. <laughs> I was like, it can't get better than this. <laughs> Nazi priests. Yeah. <laughs> moving yeah. pulpits. Ugh. Genius. With mini guns attached. I mean, how often are you going to get a gunfight breaking out in church? <laughs> Apparently, often enough to plan for it. At a Nazi so. church. Not enough. Nazi church. Oh, yeah. All right. Anyway, so you got the spines. The the head, the head. animation was kind of silly with the heads popping off. But it was 2002. That's true. But I did like how the game was definitely sufficiently violent enough. Like you just cut people in half and body parts fly off. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty good. I'll give it that, but... There was an attempt. Yeah. Let's put it that way. All right, yeah, that's fine. Let's see, where are we here? Well, you keep killing people and solving stupid little puzzles, and go. you eventually head towards the mines to get the artifact. Oh, yeah, then you're just, like, running away from all these demon knight, whatever they are. Demon knight. De- day mites. Day mites, my bad. Which I think is supposed to be like demon and deadite. That's what I thought. Maybe. I guess I don't I don't know, man. Don't yeah, you just there. you eventually just go and kill a bunch of stuff and you come across the skull, the relic that apparently they didn't find, but you did. Whoa, whoa, you're jumping way ahead, man. Well, cuz I I mean, all you do is run around and kill people. Well, you got to talk about the butcheress and how you run into her. And they, and how for some reason there's a pit full of daymites that she's just throwing people to. <laughs> yeah, and I guess so. They reproduce asexually in the chest cavity. I'm pretty sure they said that. They, did. they yeah. did. Yeah, that's what she says. Yeah, but also she said she was a direct descendant of Elizabeth Battery. Bathory. That's yeah. Right. Bathory. Um, and that's when this game lost me. But <laughs> dude, that's normal history. You don't know about that. Oh yeah, she became a Nazi butcher. No, no, no. <laughs> that <laughs> every weird old timey thing goes back to her somehow. And she was from the 16th century. Yeah. Well, yeah. They always they always bring her up in vampire games and stuff because that's what I mean. Like it's it's overplayed at this point. Yeah. Oh, she's the one that like bathed in virgin's blood yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. You already know her. Yeah. So when we make a game for Papa Scotch, we're going to have to just make some random person up from the 15th century. Yeah, this is... I was descended from... John the, Battery. <laughs> <laughs> the Earl of Strasbourg. <laughs> he didn't bathe in blood. He used it in his toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take a shit unless that thing's filled with blood. <laughs> and he didn't have, like, plumbing. He had just had... Yeah, just buckets of blood, yeah, buckets to, of shit blood to shit in. <laughs> Covered the smell. Yeah, it's pretty good. You'll read about it in history books. Yeah, they don't teach that stuff in school. No. Do they go over it in Blood Ring 2? <laughs> I hope we'll so. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't. But anyway, after you kill the butchers and all this, there's just like a button there that says burn. And yeah. You just yeah. burn all the daymites. The jump down to the pit. <laughs> it's like, why would they put that there? <laughs> <laughs> to keep the daymites under control. I guess, but she looked like she was having fun feeding people to him and yeah. stuff. I mean, it could have been a gas chamber if you want to get more Nazi about it. Oh, well, they tried to put you into a gas chamber yeah. twice. Yeah, it's true. I didn't even get that reference. Yeah. And there's just like, you just hear these voices like, breathe, breathe. And then you break glass and the gas kills the officers. Yeah. And you're fine. Well, you're a, you're a dump here. <sighs> I guess. Fine. <laughs> no, you don't have to relent. That was that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's like they die instantly and you've been standing trying to break the glass for like minutes. I didn't understand that. She can hold her breath. Oh. Uh, does she even breathe if she's a vampire? If she's dead? Half vampire. Or does this part yeah, but does she, What does you know, Blade do? I, can he hold his breath? Yeah, dude. He set the world record for <laughs> Him and David Blaine. <laughs> yeah. 
the two coolest people I know. Blade and Blade. <laughs> Coming this fall to the <laughs> WP. I'd watch that. I'd watch Blade the and Blade. WP. <laughs> I don't even know if that's still a No, I think they're a CW now. <laughs> no, dude, that's a TNT show if I've ever seen oh, it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right after Penn and Teller's, uh, where you try and fool them. Oh, yeah. But, anyway. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so this is where you find the relic after you... After you go down through the tunnels. That are like sewers. That are... The Nazis are just blowing them up to cover them up. Yeah. So they don't even care about the relic at this point. Why don't you just let them do that? Because you have to have the relic. Hmm. I guess. And was it? Did I remember this correctly? There's a huge plant thing. Yeah, I assume that, that was, was the, sort of alive. The Daymite Queen. Yeah, that was the thing that like held the skull. Yeah. That was kind of part of whoever the what was his name was Belier 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 <laughs> Belier. <laughs> but it, the skull isn't the relic. It's the eye inside the skull. Yes. Oh, uh, yes, the eye. The good old eye. And when you grab it, you stick it in your face like the, you did the rib. Yeah. It's so fucking goofy. And then this is where you meet probably my favorite character, Meyer, the, the big, huge Nazi robot dude. Oh, yes. I just wrote strong guy. Yeah, I just have big guy. <laughs> and then you, you see him, you're like, oh, boss fight, here we go. And then he starts exposition dumping left and right. Yeah, Mephisto fell and took over Belier's spot and ripped him apart, blah, blah, blah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Wolf's in Germany looking for the heart. And then we can summon Belier or whatever. Here's the address. Look it up on Google Maps. <laughs> the fuck? Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, but why... Why does he know so much? Like, this he's in the information shouldn't be coming from him. No. Well, why? Because he's he's a big muscular guy? He can't be smart? Yes. Well, they should. No. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what was he doing? He was Name just standing Name one there. huge muscular guy who's smart. That's not Dolph Lundgren. The Dwayne Rock. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, both I'll eat it crow has on to this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he tells you that. Wolf's going for the heart in Germany, and then you fight him, and he has the best death sequence in the game. Oh, yeah. Big time. What happens? You fight him, and then he goes down. He's like, oh, you can't beat me that easy, and then he falls back over. <laughs> and dies instantly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, the, and at this part, you hide in like a, a crate. Yeah, that's going on a sub. And away into the submarine that's going to Germany. Yeah, which is, I guess, how you get there. Oh. <laughs> Cut to Act Three. Bum, bum, bum. New sheet, new Nazis to kill. Yeah, when you then you arrive in Germany, and don't they say something like everybody on the sub's dead? Did they? I thought they did. I could have been wrong. I don't know. It's weird that you, they just put all the boxes there and walk away. Yeah, they might. Yeah, they might have killed everyone on the sub. Because once you break out of the box, you find a little folder there that tells you who to kill and what to do. Yeah, and then you go find. Then it's a long cutscene of some Nazi in a room who you cut his ear off, and then a kill squad breaks in and you kill them. Well, that was pretty gross. Yeah, and they're in some type of vampire castle that everybody knows about. Castle Gestalt. Yeah, they're like, oh, that's an old vampire castle. Yeah, the vampires <laughs> stay to themselves in there. We just leave them alone. Yeah, but we think they might be holding the heart, so yeah. we're going to go in and check. Yeah, that's. this is also where we find out that Wolf already has the teeth, ribs, a uh, a hand and an eye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Larry, and he's there to get the heart. And your new mission is to stop him from getting the heart and kill more GGG guys because, hell, why not? Yeah. Well, there's like 15 more of them. Yeah. If, while you're there. I mean, how did World War II even start if you're killing, like, all of the Nazi high command, you know? I think this is before it starts. Yeah, you're just killing the GGG, though. Yeah. I mean, the SS and the Nazis still haven't invaded... The good game guys. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a hot take on Nazis. Jesus, I mean, we're in 1938. It said 1938, which is exactly when Germany invaded Poland to start World War II. Yeah, but it doesn't tell you the day of. That's because Poland had the hand. That's what Castle Castle Stolt was. Didn't you get that? Yeah. It's all coming together. Got it. All right. And then this is where you see, I th are these monsters that look like werewolves vampires? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought the ones that looked like zombies were vampires. 
I don't know. Yeah, they. I don't think any of them are vampires. They're all mutants or uh, daymites, right? Well, there has to be vampires. No, it's like they big they... ones that look like wolves. Like uh, what's his name? Hedrex, Hedrox. I just assume... oh, I have Hedrox or Hedrox as techno black teddy bear. Yeah, I thought wasn't he a vampire? Like a full blooded vampire? Wasn't he like? I thought he was more like a legion type demon. Well, they said it was. A vampire castle. I assume that's what all these things that were there were. But isn't he like more than one thing? He's yeah, he's like there's three of them at all times. I think, and they're kind of immortal? they're like hydras. You kill one, two of them pop out. Uh, maybe I don't know. It I was, was confused very, by all this. Yeah, it was. Yeah. they didn't go into it. <laughs> it was like, oh, what you don't know? <laughs> we didn't get to. Yeah, what I them. love is they they bring up Hedrox, and it's like, oh yeah, Hedrox, and you're like, did I miss like a section <laughs> of the game? Are we? What did the wiki say about him? Nothing. Did you look? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. There's not much. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Well, then you get there. Vampire castle. You kill all these whatevers. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a giant mechs fight that somehow happens. <laughs> oh, shit. Mechs, mech suits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember reading about them in my history of the Holocaust. Yeah. That's how they did the, the Blitzkrieg. Yeah. Mech suits and panzer tanks. Crazy. And then you kill a bunch of... GGG members and random stuff and kill a bunch of mech suits. And then you come across Mince. It's like, oh shit. He's apparently not dead from 1933. Yeah, she's just been working with the GGG for five years. Yeah. Her and Wolf are best buds, I guess. Yeah, then. Okay. So before we get into it, Hadrox is an ancient and powerful vampire chieftain from New Guinea. From New Guinea? Much of his history. From New Guinea. Much of his history is unknown, but him and Rain seem to have met previously under different circumstances. So they have a history there, I guess. Well, she is half vampire. So vampires look like these things in this game? That's what I've been saying. They have like... Maybe the chieftains. <laughs> they have well, like kill a bunch of white ones that look like him, too. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what? Yeah. It's not racist Easy, to vampires. <laughs> but doesn't he have like... it's not racist to vampires. <laughs> Doesn't he have, like, a mouth on his hand? Because doesn't he eat the guy's head? Yeah. All the vampires had, like, weird, kind of look like an octopus mouth on their hand. So she gets to stay looking like a human and has all the cool vampire powers of sucking blood. And Yeah, but one of these vampires had sex with a human. Good point. Right? Hot. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> they don't show that part. I know, right? The, you'd think they, they probably ran out of money on the jiggly boob budget. Yeah, or it might have been in the movie after I shut it off. No, I watched the whole thing. Oh, you watched the whole thing? Yep. Wow, you have more fortitude than I do. No, well, it's really just watching bad and, movies and reading the internet at the same time. You know, half watching it. Yeah. yeah. In case Hedrox showed up because I was confused waiting. So anyway, you end up fighting Mints in a battle. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite part. You like knock her off the edge. She's like, ah, grapples up. To the wall, and she's like, "Oh shit!" And the wall breaks, and she falls down to her death again. Yeah, and you just hear, ah, ah. but you never hear her squash. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hedrox goes on some exposition here about he has the heart, and he wants to figure out how to use it. So he wants you to tell him how. He's like, "I got this heart. I don't know what to do." Yeah, and then you're like, "You got to cut your heart out." And put this one in there. He almost fell for it, guys. <laughs> he totally almost yeah. did. How red nice. would his like, face have been? Ah, 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 ah. Boy, my face would have been red. <laughs> <laughs> but why are there always three of them? Because the wiki makes it sound like there's only one. Maybe it's him and his bros? I'm pretty sure I thought they're can... all part of him. Like, Yeah, every time you hit him, you can another one appeared. Cause like multiple man? When they show the... The fight, exactly the fight where you have to like knock it down and he falls yeah. a couple times, which is right at this part of the game during the video. Yeah, they accidentally hit him once and he turns into two others and there's like five of them running around. His name is Hedrox the Infinite, and his partners are listed here as his clones. See, so he's like a worm that explains it all. Mm -hmm. So he's a mix between a worm and multiple men. Yes, there we go. That's self-explanatory. All right, I can go home yeah. now. <laughs> Jesus, that that was a long walk to get there. Anyway. And then you fight Hedrox and you collapse that building. 
And then he falls in the water at the bottom, and that's how they all die? I guess, because vampires can't stand water yeah. in this, this mythos. <laughs> what? Yeah, they must smell terrible. That's gross. Seriously. Well, they don't sweat, I would assume. They bathe in blood. So, there's that. Yeah. Is blood a known... Uh... Disinfectant. Anti- <laughs> disinfectant, yeah. yeah sure is. Okay. I'll then take your word on that. <laughs> Look it up. And then there's like... Then you come across Wolf again while you're standing on a bridge. Yeah, and he fucking runs past you at super speed. Yeah. I assume he has Belier's feet too. Oh, yeah. They don't tell you that part. Yeah. And then the... That's with getting the hand. Then the bridge starts blowing up. Yeah, and then you have to like run across as it blows up. And a bunch of other Nazis just get murdered because they're like supposed to be on the bridge finding you for some reason. Yeah, because that makes a lot of sense to slow you down so the bridge blows up. Well, isn't it that like right when he runs past you, she's like, "Why didn't he just kill me there?" Yeah, or seal the eye at least, or the heart. Oh, you don't have the heart yet. That's right. Yeah. And then after you get past this bridge sequence, you come across <laughs> my favorite characters in the game. Yeah. The the. Identical twins. Simon and Sigmund. Yeah. Who are- and they go into so much backstory. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So much. And I was like, these characters, are they from a previous Blood Rain game? Like, was this... This is the first. This is the first we're meeting them on, like, the final run to the final boss. Yeah. And they're acting like, ah, you finally caught up with us. Like, who the fuck are you? What? We were com- We were conjoined twins, and we were cut apart, and now we got these devil arms. And only one of it's us like, feels pain. Who the pain. fuck cares? Yeah, you can kill me, but he'll die, and then when he dies, I die. So that's yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that at all. So like cute. he feels all the pain, and then when he dies, he's like, "Oh, you're dying. I'm gonna die." Yeah, I didn't. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. It's a real different Corsican brothers vibe here. It was very strange. They spent so much time here with these two assholes. Yeah, and they have that annoying German. Stereotypical accent. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We have once can join. Yeah. It's like, dude, f- really? <laughs> we wish to I be loved those together. characters and I hated them at the same time. Yeah. Same. So after you beat them, because you kill, you deal lethal damage to one, but it doesn't kill him. It kills his brother and then his brother dies and he dies. Yeah. It was like, I think Whatever. only one could get damaged. So you had, only had to kill. I, I don't know. I did not yeah. get it at all. Maybe during the fight you can only damage one. I who knows. Yeah, and one was invincible. And then, oh shit! What happens here? Mince is still alive, and she goes on a long expedition. How she was a double agent and saved you in Louisiana. And and since when is this a fucking spy thriller? <laughs> well, you're working well, you're for like, the a Brimstone Society. Brimstone Society yeah. the whole time. Oh, and she's fuck deep that. undercover in the Nazis. Yeah, I'm half Nazi, half vampire. Aren't I? <laughs> Oi! Yes. Ugh. And she explains that he has a bunch of parts and he's almost invincible. Woof. Woof. And Hedrox has the heart and he hasn't figured out how to use it yet and blah, blah, blah. And then Wolf kills her. Yeah. Easily. Was this the, the moment where uh, you get to the the metal gate or whatever it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Wolf is standing there and you guys are just talking like, why don't you shoot at him? There's plenty of room in between those bars. Because uh... he has all the... Parts of Belire, he's almost immortal. Yeah, he's pretty much immortal at this point. That's what Mince told you before she got killed. She's like, he's almost immortal. Just don't. I mean, you can make home. an effort though, right? Like, and then yeah, he. You'd think he kills Mince and says, "Meet him and Hedrox in the cathedral, and we'll have a long discussion." That's kind of annoying. We'll have a chit chat. Yeah, come on, bring your friends. So you go to the cathedral and meet him and Hedrox, and you found out Hedrox knew figured out how to use the heart. He eats it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's delicious. But oh, he didn't turn into anything. No. And, and then they somehow, I guess, the spirit and remnants of Belire show up and try and fight Wolf and Blood Rain to get the parts back. Yeah. Now, this part, like, did you only have to bring the heart to this certain chapel and then he'd I guess, regenerate I there? Maybe Wolf knew. It's kind of that's, weird how yeah. that happens. I don't know. I guess that's what he found out. He's like, this is how you do it. This I mean, is we kind of, we kind of, stop it. We kind of <laughs> skipped over the part where uh, you find Mint's dead on the floor. 
Oh, we talked about that. Oh, wolf kills her, yeah. Stabs her in the Did chest. Did we talk about that? But it's like, is she dead for realsies now? I assume she'll be back in, in every the, Blood Rain In the cutscene movie I saw, they looked at her body as she was laying on the ground. Yeah, because actually, Rain says, "Are you? is she dead for real this time? <laughs> just like that. <laughs> so I assume so. But she just does come back. Yeah, she died a couple of times already that you saw. Yeah. But you end up fighting Belier and killing him. Yeah, Belier, the fucking immortal. Yeah, who doesn't seem to take one bullet time event from Blood Rain and he's yeah. dead. He just spawns from the heart. I am the immortal Belier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I assume Wolf gets killed here. I don't know what happens. Yeah, then, then you have to fight Wolf, I think, after. Yeah, you, you, no, you kill Wolf and it was like in a cutscene in the middle of the fight. So Blair's just standing there like, ooh, how's this going to unfold? Just watching? Okay. So you have to kill Wolf and then Belier? I thought, I thought he was, Belier was fighting both of you at the same time. Maybe. He was, but that's why I got confused because there was just a cutscene between you and Wolf. Oh, my God. Yeah. And this is the cutscene where she like flips off the camera like six times. <laughs> I did not catch that. Really? Yeah. It was so fucking annoying. Yeah, it was pretty. They're like dead bodies on the ground. She's like, eh, eh. Uh, note for our listeners that Chump Slap made the gesture for a middle finger. <laughs> yeah, every time you hear <laughs> when eh. he went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so dumb. So dumb. yeah. So you in that cutscene, you supposedly kill Wolf. Then you go on to fight Blair and you kill him. And then Wolf is still alive somehow. Then you decapitate him and flip him off a lot. Yeah. And then kick his head into a sewer. Yep, and then the heart falls down the grate. Yeah. It, right? It kind of like hardens. It just disappears. Like, yeah, it turns black and then just... But they said it was a black heart the whole time. It was kind of reddish, and then it turned color. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Yeah, they lied. They lied to us. Which I also don't understand why at the end of the game, right after this, you hear a voice... The voice over the phone again says, the Brimstone Society has found your father and he must be stopped. Well, in the be- Who the fuck is that? In the beginning, they were looking for your father. That's really? Why, yeah, they say something about that. Oh, you were looking oh, for your father yeah. the whole time? And in the Brimstone Society. That's how they found you? Yeah. Oh. Because I assume your father was a vampire. Oh, Yeah, obviously. Well, either one of them had to be. but Well, in most cases, it was a male vampire. Most? Yeah. Whoa. From what I read on the wiki. <laughs> Okay. About Tom Peters. God so that's it. it. You yeah. kill everybody, and then, oh, uh, we got to find your father. He must, oh, we found your father. Yeah. He must be he stopped. He must be stopped. And then after the credits. See you in Blood Rain 2. Well, Belier, like, becomes big and rips apart the castle he was in, and that's when it stops. That wasn't after the credits. That was the alternate ending if you don't kill him fast enough. Ah. Uh, that's what they said. Okay. Well, I was like, is that how the game ends if you don't kill him fast enough? You just played that whole game, and. Boom. See, in the cutscene movie I did, it just showed all the credits and then showed that without any <laughs> oh, explanation. Really? <laughs> just showed them ripping yeah, apart. Yeah, that's what I saw, too. That makes much more sense. I was like, oh, shit, there's a timer on it. We didn't say that. Uh, Blood Rain was voiced by Laura Bailey, who does a lot of good stuff. What? She was uh, Sarah in Final Fantasy Thirteen. Oh, really? She was Fetch from the Infamous games. Oh, Really? Uh, she was Nadine in Uncharted. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. This is where she got her start? I guess, yeah. She does a lot of other stuff, but I, I think those are all the ones I can think of. Oh. Yeah, that's the whole game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And another thing I wanted to say. Sure. It seemed that every time you whipped out your fucking, like, scorpion come here thing and suck their blood you could kill anybody like that instantly like once you attach to them you could drain all their blood yeah so why didn't you just do that the whole game what do you need guns for <laughs> it's a great question you do use a whole lot of guns you wouldn't have thought that from the vampire angle but here we are and those really cool swords that she has on yeah. her arms which she can when she goes into the rage she can slice people in half in like one shot yeah so, Switch. is that it? That's the whole game? That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, fortunately. Thank God. 
Sorry, guys. <laughs> We've had worse. <laughs> Did this satisfy your Nazi zombie mood you were in last week? It totally killed it, yeah. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you mean by satisfied. I don't want to ever see another Nazi zombie anything. Okay, sit yourself. <laughs> Why do you have any suggestions? <laughs> no, you you named like seven more Nazi zombie films that I've ever even heard of. I think you're on top of this. All right, I thought so. Just checking. <laughs> God. All right. Well, let's move into uh, final thoughts then. How about it? Sounds good. Well, let's start with you, Chump Slap, because you made us do this. <laughs> uh, final thoughts. Would you play it? Would you score it? Did the story work for you? Would I play it? No. No. Not even a No. No chance. The way it looked like hitboxes were non existent. <laughs> and every time you got into like a rage. You just flailed around, and somehow the enemy's energy, vitality just disappeared. It looked like it was horrible to play. <laughs> it didn't make any sense. Story was garbage. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no argument here. I mean, it, it was, oh, look at this elevator. It's blocking you. Go find a battery. Oh, look at more Nazis suck their blood. Water hurts you. Uh, I didn't get it. It was stupid. Totally dumb. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Would not play it. I scored it a 1.5. Wow. Oh, 0. 0.5's thrown in there now. 0. 0.5 for the boob jiggle. Is it a penalty <laughs> or a plus? A pl- That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> it was a plus. Okay. I had one, and then I was like, eh, give it a 0. 0.5. So that's that. Oh, right. okay. That's pretty harsh from the guy who picked the game. <laughs> I didn't know what it was when I picked it. Yeah, the the game definitely wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I If you would have told me Blood Rain was actually about a half vampire killing Nazi zombies, I would be like, no, it's not. That's bullshit. No, yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it takes place in 1938, mostly? What? Yeah. So, uh, Papa Scotch, what do you think? Would you play it? Would you score it? Did the story work for you? Uh, would I play it? No. No, I would not. I would just play a Tomb Raider game because they apparently play exactly the same <laughs> uh, except there's way less blood and viscera and cutting people in half in tomb raider but you know can't win them all right let's boob jiggle let's boob jiggle let's do we got pointy boobs it's a whole other game <laughs> <laughs> you know it's it's you, whatever you're into <laughs> pros and cons but uh what did the story work for me i no it didn't it was just very, it, the whole point of the game was to get body parts from something that died and murder Nazis. That was it. Yeah, nailed it. And there, there was it. It felt like the character development was fucking all over the place because you wouldn't get any of Blood Rain's backstory or any of Mince's backstory, but yet the fucking Simon and Sigmund <laughs> got like ten minutes of screen time <laughs> about how they used to be conjoined twins. It's like, do we? We don't care about these guys at all. So I thought that was a very interesting choice to make for the storytelling. It seems like they had this whole big grand vision that made a lot of sense and was really cool, and then they cut out like 60% of it because they ran out of money. And so you just had pieces of it around. So you loved it. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't love it. I Although I will be with my score a little bit more generous than uh, Chump Slap, and I'm going to give it a three. Just because it's essentially the story to Blade, but with dead body parts. And boob jiggle. And also, I would give a half a point. It was going to be a 2.5, but I'll <laughs> give a half to the boob jiggle as well. <laughs> so uh, what about you, scientists? Your turn. Would you play it? Would you score it? Story work for you. If they redid the whole game and made it like a God of War clone, I might play it. But otherwise, no. It seemed almost unbearably repetitive. Story was uh, pretty bad. Some ancient force and you're trying to stop people from resurrecting it is basically the gist of it. And you kill Nazis. And there's no character development at all. You don't really know where she came from, what she's doing. She just knows she's trying to find her dad, and that's about it. I gave it four stars. Ooh. High. It's not not often scientist <laughs> comes out with the high score. Yeah, I kind of feel bad. He gave it a whole point for the boob jiggle. <laughs> yeah, I had a five originally. <laughs> Classic scientist. But yeah, I gave it four. I thought, ah, it's just boring. 
Yeah. I just want to say one more thing. Of course. When Mintz came back the first time, you're like, what? Come on, seriously? And then when she came back the second time, I was like, that's fucking it. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, they never really explained it. <laughs> it's like, that. who cares? You don't even know who the fuck she is, what she does. Yeah. You met her for five minutes in the beginning of the game. And- yeah. And that's what I'm talking about. And then Simon and Sigmund got more fucking backstory than these assholes. I know. They like, should have showed up. supposed to be the main characters. <laughs> and the mistress, the butcheress, she was fucking to talk to her for about 10 minutes, too. Yeah. Yeah. I just... I The idea of a half vampire hunting down supernatural shit is a great idea. But we already did that with Blade, which was a comic book a long time before this game came out. I think the I movies even probably, came out before it. I should probably look it know. up, right? I don't right? think so. Maybe 2000. Yeah. My phone died. I can't tell which year it came out. So I'm looking it up. Blade the character. He is also a dampier. Well, yeah, that's what a half vampire is. It's a real word. Oh, Jesus. First appearance, the Tomb of Dracula, number 10, July 1973. Yeah, that kind of... Oh, well, this happened in 33, so... <laughs> it beats it there. Yeah. yeah, it's a true story. That's not... Uh, all right. <laughs> It's not. No. So, anything else anyone wants to discuss about this game? I mean, I feel like it. The movie was somehow worse than the game. Yeah, the movie was horrible. That's impressive. I, I'd give the but movie. But it's a U Bull movie, right? So yeah. it's gonna be trash. It yeah, it's not even. It's a completely different story. It's I wasn't even sure what was going on. I thought it'd be gorier too. Yeah, and it's like set in the middle ages, sort of. Yeah. I don't know. Not good. No. Don't, don't bother. But you should watch. The day shall come. <laughs> well, if if there's anything you're going to get out of this, don't play Blood, Blood Rain. Watch The Day Shall Come. <laughs> <laughs> that's really all we can yeah, do for you. At this point. True. All right. Well, then that's going to take us into our favorite segment of every week, which is Scientist's Lock of the Week. Was that a, was that a bankful? That was an explosion, dude. Oh. <laughs> Someone didn't put in the, ba- the the code right, and it blew yep. up. I got it. I got you. But uh, every week, we ask Dr. Scientist for a 100% guaranteed gambling pick, and he has yet to get one wrong. So, Dr. Scientist, this week, who do you got? We're going to uh, the Dutch Major League Baseball. Got Harlem. Of course. Har- Harl? I don't even know how to say it. It's spelled like Harlem, but it's probably pronounced something Dutchy. Harlem DDS over the the Hague Silicone Storks. Ah, uh, the Storks are looking good this year. Silicon though. Storks, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be an upset. Oh, but. nice. Ooh, that's probably a good payout then, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a three to one odds. Take DDS. All right. Well, good to know. And what you're gonna want to do is take all your things, sell them at a pawn shop or to a distressed neighbor, get that money, sell that money, and put it all in this game because it is a sure thing. It's sure thing. Wait, you're going to sell them to a distressed neighbor? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Someone who's scared and they need all your stuff or they won't feel whole. <laughs> Fair enough. I've made this narrative in my head. I got a perfect name. Uh, it didn't work. It worked it. for me. <laughs> Did the it work story for worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you rate that story? I'd give it a 24. <laughs> That's pretty close. It's high up there. Uh, I'll give it a one and a half. Because <laughs> of the boob jiggle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay classic uh well that's going to take us then to our favorite segment of every week which is chump slaps recommendation window (laughs) yeah okay every (laughs) week we ask chump slap for recommendation on whatever comes to my head usually as i'm saying this sentence but i came up with one exactly 12 minutes ago so i already got one uh chump slap what is your recommendation now that the holidays are coming up for a thanksgiving Side dish. What's the best one someone can make? Nachos. <laughs> Nachos. <laughs> no, you don't see that coming. You don't see that at more, many Thanksgiving dinners, but if you bring it, you will be the talk of the town. <laughs> it's the like seven-layer dip. That's a sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you said it, I thought it was stupid. Now I'm thinking about it, and it's like, oh, mashed potato. Are those not? Did someone bring nachos? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll eat some, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> nachos are the perfect food. Yeah, no matter how much turkey you eat, you're looking at nachos like, oh, I can have some nachos. I can, I can have some nachos. <laughs> <laughs> just, just going to let them go to waste. And you want to eat them while they're hot, obviously. You know? Yeah, you can't, exactly. Because yeah, they don't reheat. 
Oh, Christ. Well, let's say someone uh, wanted to write us an email about the 100% best nacho recipe they could ever come up with. I don't know. Maybe they, it's the old family recipe. Who fucking cares? Where would they send that email? The old family Mr. nacho Trump recipe. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm actually looking for a good nacho recipe myself, so <laughs> just send that right on over to plottytime at gmail.com. P-L-O. T T Y T I M E dot com. Chump slap <laughs> guaranteed to email you back. He's still got a ratio of hundred percent. It's I I guarantee I I would imagine it's getting very tough to keep up at this point, right? Chump slap. Uh, I, no, not really. I got so much free time. It's really <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> My time is fucking worthless. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> so uh, let's just uh, say, for example, that. Uh, Someone has some really forward-thinking stuff they're doing with nachos, other than coming up Sex with stuff. historical family <laughs> recipes. Uh, how would they tell us that on social media as quickly as possible, Doctor Scientist? At Plotty Time on Instagram and Twitter. Perfect. Well, that's going to do it for us. Unless you guys have something else you want to add about nachos or this game. If you like nachos, rate us five stars. Give us a good review or something. Yeah, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Click that button. <laughs> right. Click that button. Enjoy it. Download. Tell all your friends. And we'll talk to you all next week. Peace. Take it Later. easy.